The levator scapulae attaches from the C1, 2, 3, 4 posterior tubercles of the transverse processes and it attaches onto the superior angle of the scapula and also onto the medial border. If you think about it, if we said this is the insertion point, then the shoulder is able to elevate. If this is fixed, then the levator is able to side bend. If the neck is forward, as in you've got a forward head posture, uh, it's been known that if it's gone forward, then the levator is actually going to eccentrically lengthen to hold you in that position. If the shoulder is fully abducted to 180 degrees, then the levator scapulae is able to downwardly rotate working with the rhomboids and the pectoralis minor. The upper trapezius attaches from the occipital protuberance here. There's a, there's a line called the superior nuchal line. It goes to the ligamentum nuchae from C2 to 7, and the spinous processes all the way down to T12. And the upper fiber is particularly attached to the clavicle, and then the fibers then continue to the spine of the scapula and attach around the border here. So you've got the mid fibers, the lower fibers, the lower fibers will depress, the mid fibers will retract, and the upper fibers, similar to the levator, will elevate the shoulder girdle and also side bend the cervical spine. However, the levator and trapezius work slightly different because when we bring the arm over our head, it incorporates movement of the humeral and the scapula, and they call it scapular humeral rhythm. And for instance, if we abduct the arm to 90 degrees, then it means that the humerus has abducted 60, and the scapula is rotated 30, so it's a 2 to 1 ratio. And the upper trapezius is responsible for that, working alongside the lower trapezius and the muscle on the inside of the ribcage here, and that is known as the serratus anterior. And serratus attaches from the first eight or nine ribs, and it goes onto the medial border of the scapula, an inferior angle, and it will protract you, and it will rotate the scapula in an upward direction for when you lift your arms over your head.